I don't know, Elon, that sounds a lot like not being a partner in justice to me. Welcome back to another episode of Hot Take with Hila on JTV. In a recent CNN interview with Jake Tapper, Ilhan Omar decided to once again reveal her true colors on how she really feels about the Jewish people. When confronted by Tapper about her past anti-Semitic remarks, such as all about the Benjamins and Israel has hypnotized the world, she did what anti-Zionists, not anti-Semites, do best and completely changed the subject. Do you understand why some of your fellow House Democrats, especially Jews, find that language anti-Semitic? I have welcomed any time you know, my colleagues have asked to have a conversation, to, to learn from them, for them to learn from me. I think it's really important for uh, these members to realize that they haven't been partners in injustice. They haven't been um, you know, equally engaging uh, in seeking justice uh, around the world. Instead of the proper response of taking responsibility for her actions and apologizing to the community she hurt, she decided to answer Tapper's question of, do you recognize how you were anti-Semitic, with Jewish members of Congress have not, and I quote, been partners in justice. Because the right way to respond to accusations of past anti-Semitic behaviors is by being more anti-Semitic, right? And then she had the audacity to say that her Jewish colleagues do not know what it feels like to experience injustice. I'm sorry, I just need a moment to process how stupid a person must be to say that Jews haven't experienced injustice. Then again, Minnesota is one of the 31 states in the US that doesn't require Holocaust education, and I'm gonna take a wild guess and say Somalia doesn't either, so maybe we can really give her the benefit of the doubt and say that she's just ignorant. After all, in her country of birth, the Arabic word for Jew, Yahud, is a common slur, and children are taught that we are not human, but rather the descendants of pigs and monkeys. That being said, can we really trust her as a congresswoman to believe in liberty and justice for all when all includes the Jewish people? I want to be clear, I'm not saying that people who come from countries that teach certain prejudices cannot overcome them and then become a part of our government, but this is a woman who clearly hasn't unlearned the anti-Semitism she was taught as a child. Giving her the position of power she has now is extremely dangerous. I also think it's a little funny that Omar claims that Jews aren't partners in justice when she refused to recognize the Armenian Genocide. By the way, the only other two members of Congress who voted present alongside her weren't Jewish. I don't know, Ilan, that sounds a lot like not being a partner in justice to me. Then again, recognizing genocides and how they affect people doesn't seem to be her strong suit. She also opposes sanctions against Iran, arguably one of the greatest human rights violators in the world. I'm gonna take an educated guess here and say that it might have something to do with the fact that their nuclear weapons are aimed at Israel. I'm sure she'd love to see millions of innocent Jews slaughtered, even if it means taking out the Palestinians she claims to care for so much along with us. She also opposed sanctions against Assad, president of Syria, but of course she supports BDS against Israel, the country that's actually helping treat and save Syrian refugees. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but helping refugees who are caught in the crossfire but deadly civil war seems to me like partners in justice. On the other hand, allowing that violence to continue seems like the exact opposite. Of course, shortly after the interview aired, Omar received a lot of well-deserved criticism, so she took to Twitter to play the victim. She said, it's their mission to turn and twist everything I say until I'm completely silenced. Demonizing voices for justice is part of their playbook and it won't work here. Sweetie. Who's they? Also, no one is twisting your words. We are quoting you verbatim. Also, if people are trying to silence you, how are you able to tweet all your thoughts and be invited to CNN to voice all your opinions? All Tepper asked was that you recognize your past anti-Semitic behaviors and take responsibility. You didn't, and you still haven't. The Jewish community and America as a whole will continue to criticize you so long as you continue to spout anti-Semitic libels while claiming your devotion to justice for marginalized groups, as is our First Amendment right. That is, unless you are trying to silence us. My advice is listen to the communities you've hurt apologize, and take the steps to not be such a bigot in the future. You are not fit for office and you do not deserve a platform. Stop acting like a child and take some responsibility. I'm Hila Oz and you're watching JTV. JTV.